last thing on the market, I think, is uh, that uh, Neegs, you should talk about this because you're the one who brought it up. Is is the strange, uh, 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 Caitlyn Jenner thing? Oh yeah, that's right. That's kind of yeah. a follow up from um, the um, topic where we had like the two, um, the candidate for the you know the U.S. election going yeah. into the Libertarian Party. Um, so obviously, one of those was Trump, as we mentioned, and right after that. A Caitlyn Jenner account. So, first of all, a very important warning. We have no idea if it is a scam or not. It has all the features of a scam, and that's kind of why we want to bring it here. So, right after uh, Trump basically announced his uh, positive um, uh, his positive vision on crypto and um, being against CBDC, uh, Caitlyn Jenner decided to launch a Jenner coin, a Jenner token, and mm -hmm. it is. It is very strange. Again, look at it like as a case study. If you go, if you go there, just look at the Twitter account. Um, it, it is pretty insane. Like there are videos, and we don't know if it is AI generated, if the account has been has been hacked, or if it if it is just a pure a pure scam. I mean, it is very confusing. The law currently seems to not allow that from a U.S. citizen. So that that's very confusing to us. That's why it's either because it. It's either a deep fake, and you know, it's not either a, a a deep fake or a scam. It's either a deep fake and a scam project, or we think, or I think, somebody's going to court because, like, all the things like I'm yeah. I'm worry I worry about in doing crypto in the United States, like that thing is that. <laughs> it's exactly right. that. So it's it was really bizarre. It, it looks like it. I, I don't. It's, it can't be something in the middle. It's either somebody going to court or it's a scam. So <laughs> it, was it looks confusing. it looks extremely it looks extremely scammy. The it places it was launched on, the way it was launched, the way it was advertised, the videos, like everything looks like a scam. Uh, but it but it has been ongoing for a few days now. So yeah. it is uh, it is confusing. Of course, be extremely careful. But it kind of shows two very different aspects of uh, what's happening in crypto on one side the regulation and kind of the adoption and now that that other thing where uh, some famous people kind of launch token and you don't really know where it's coming from you don't know if it's a scam um i mean most likely uh, has a lot of chance to be one in any case yeah um it's always important to look at use case right it, it's really what you want to what you want to look at when you look so, at a coin, you want to look at what they want to achieve. If they actually achieve something that is uh, that is necessary for the economy, for the industry, um, otherwise uh, there is yeah, it's probably just a temporary the, scam. That thinking completely. Like I'll, I'll say it again. I I don't under, I never I will never understand meme coins. What you know what you buy them for because uh, they don't do anything like you just said. So it doesn't actually mean you have to look for the coin to do anything. Um, uh, but people are having fun with them, so there's that, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. I think it's speculation, right? It's just and so and that's also how you. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to tell you if you're listening to this, and Bob and Neegs will have a different opinion. I'm not going to say you can't get involved in something, have it go to the moon, get out of it, and make money. I'm not going to tell you that's not going to happen because we know that can happen all over the place if you get in the right place at the right time. The fact is, is these are all just garbage. They're There's no value Every one in of this them, yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's right, right, either but... a total scam and it's totally illegal or it's totally garbage. It makes no difference in between, yeah. but people will pump what they people pump. It's, yeah. it's just crap. No, but that I think it's important to talk about why, right? Like what, what creates that is pure speculation, right? And in crypto, what initially... The speculation behind crypto is the expected utility that is going to come to to that project that you are investing into, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, something that uh, users usually don't really understand, like they they feel like they're buying shares of a company, or they feel like really it's it's connected to to the project. But in fact, a crypto is more like an economy from from a country, right? And um, if you take DV, for example, it, it's like, again, it's like the DV country 
right? And if you have the, if you own some DV, you own like if you were owning dollars, right? And so the only reason that it is expected to be worth more later is that this economy is going to be more used. It's going to be more relevant in the future, right? Now, we went a little bit away from that because speculation can also feed itself, right? And so those meme coins, they're not going up because um, there is an intended utility that everybody believes will be impossible to miss later. No, they're going up because they believe they will go up. And so it is, we've come to a time now where it's not really related to crypto. It's kind of a trading thing. And those things are not really related. It's really difficult. It's trading for- cards. You're, you're. We're expecting these. It's yeah, really. It's no different than that. It's trading cards. We're expecting that these kinds of meme coins or NFTs, all these things related to these kinds of things, will have some sort of value if they don't make more. <laughs> right? It's like yeah. you're right. Yeah. Um. If I get the RTK, it has a specific value. Uh, it's no different than programs that encourage, you know, your 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 clients to stay with you because they get something special. In this case, you get to buy that something supposedly special and hope that it has a value later on. You're right. We should have the right to speculate on what totally. we want to speculate on. I am totally free minded like that. I I just. I'm just disappointed that we jump into these things. And maybe it's because I look at these things and I go, I think it's, I think it's fake. I think it's illegitimate. I think it's just pure vanity. I think it's a waste of time. And then people make money. So maybe I'm jealous. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) We sound like a bunch of grumpy, jealous people like that. Why is dog with hat worth worth all that? You know, it's not, <laughs> but it is. No, right? no, but it's in reality, it is. <laughs> I think that on both sides, right? Um, there is like the problem is mixing the two, right? Um, cryptocurrency and the evolution of this technology and things moving forward on in that direction is not the same as the meme coin mania and all that, and so. It is difficult where you have someone who actually invested in a crypto project and is not really interested into the technology because they're here just for the speculative aspect. So here with the meme coins on one side and now the projects on the other side, at least, you know, there is a path to make things more clear that some are very clearly just investment products. And then the other ones are really just an economy that is supposed to, to develop and become bigger and more used and and that's what justifies um, its growth. Um, if you actually look at the mechanism that led us here, it, uh, stakers or validators, they're compensated to secure the network, right? So that's yes. how really it started, uh, the way that people make money in crypto. And then people started to be more and more interested and obviously you have appreciation of um, the price. But then again, it was never enough. In the 2017 era, you had all this liquidity pool token that started to come and provide a lot of yield. And this was kind of in between because there is some utility that definitely needs to be rewarded there. However, a lot of the growth was actually the speculative aspect of the future growth of this utility through the um, liquidity token that was created out of thin air and and just generated that that money and now we're completely away from that there is not even in any utility attached to the meme coins and it's just the branding right the branding is what makes people come and speculate on the future value of the asset but i think the timing for quote unquote success of those projects will become shorter and shorter because yeah. obviously people would get more used to that and they would be more scared of when that you know mania is going to be over and it's it's going to become shorter and shorter until it, I think it dies out. Maybe. Maybe I just it's, yeah. it's, I have to admit it's a little disappointing. It's like if I invented rope and 
and and all these things like you can use rope for like you you tie your boat up you use it as a pulley you use it for a pulley all this kind of stuff and what ended up happening was that almost everybody is using rope to stick up their nose and then that's oh, it no, they just walk around with rope their up their nose and they're all proud <laughs> that the rope is up their nose and uh and you're sitting there like rope does all this other cool stuff. Why are you sticking it up your nose? <laughs> like no, rope? I understand. So but rope is like if you were in a community and whatever they got in contact before, they were stuffing it in their nose. Right. Why would you be surprised? Because that's what's <laughs> yeah. happening, right? Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> now we're now we're coming around full circle. Even people who were Bitcoin miners speculated. The early Bitcoin miners who mined Bitcoin. <laughs> consumed their own electricity, used their local computers, yeah. burnt up their local computers, um, even Ethereum, those people who mined, they speculated that there was going to be some value in it. Yeah.